Welcome back to Reggae Entertainment Lifestyle. Juneteenth marks the anniversary of the announcement of General Order No. 3 by Union Army General Gordon Granger. On June 19, 1865, proclaiming freedom for enslaved Africans in the state of Texas. Here's Real Artistry Juneteenth Celebration. Nobody wifey, yeah She wanna be not pretty but her heart is a mess Playing like a villain cause she caught in a whip Tonight I, I, I am walking away Lined up in my mind and I grind yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight I might fall in love Depending on how you hold me I'm glad that I'm calming down Can't let no one come control me Keep dancing and call it love she fighting but falling slowly If ever you are in doubt Remember what mama told me Brown skin girl Your skin just like first You're back against the world I never trade you for anybody else Say brown skin girl Your skin just like first The best thing in the world I never trade you for anybody else Say brown skin melanin Uptown girl, best one out of Africa. Fine one like a masala. Looking at the mirror, loving that deep chocolate, calamon, jack, caramel complexion. Yeah, you me and those say you're the best in the world. Can I take a picture, modify it on my world? Make I take it to Nigeria, Lagos straight to Kenya. See the gift of nature, we go make you love adventure. Yeah, yeah, you know, so you are diva. Beauty brighter than gold and silver. I love everything about you. Because I mean what the manga do The men them gon' fall in love With you and all of your glory Your skin is not only dark It shines and it tells your story Keep dancing, they can't control They're watching, they all adore you If ever you are in doubt Remember what mama told you Brown skin girl Your skin just like pearls Your back against the Trade you for anybody else, say brown skin girl. Your skin just like pearls. The best thing in any world. I'll never trade you for anybody else, say. So to all of the contestants, congratulations to you who have already achieved so much. Figure 
about you and all of your glory Your skin is not only dark It shines and it tells your story You're dancing, they can't control you They watch and they all adore you If ever you are in doubt Remember what mama told you Brown skin girls Your skin just like brown Entertainment Lifestyle. This is Sasmita and I am here in Miami at the Hampton House for the first annual Juneteenth pageant. We have three winners we're going to interview and first we have the winner of Teen Miss Juneteenth. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well my name is Nastasia Simone Jubitana. I am 16 years old and this is my very first pageant and I'm so happy to be here right now and I'm just so excited. That's amazing. So how, how was your first experience? You said this is your first time. Actually, I was really nervous, to be honest, especially for the questions, because just being in front of everyone on stage, it gave me a little bit of like some butterflies in my stomach. So I wanted to make sure I spoke really clearly so the judges could hear me. Well, I can tell you, you did phenomenal. I'm a former queen myself. Well, I was one of the judges. Thank you so and, much. Um, for your first time, you did amazing. Let's just say that. So Thank you. definitely keep it up and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. And we are back with the second division, Miss Juneteenth, and I am here with the winner. Can you Hello. please tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Scott Shapier. I am a third year of business administration at the Florida Memorial University. It's amazing that this is the first time in Miami yes. that Miss Juneteenth is held, right? Yes. So how do you feel about that? You're the first ever Miss Juneteenth in Miami. It feels amazing, honestly. It feels like something that I did to impact my community, being that I'm at an HBCU where we celebrate black excellence and black culture. So it's everything to me and I'm so excited to get the work done. Incredible, <laughs> okay. So what is it that you're looking forward to the most? Bringing more awareness to the national holiday. Incredible. Yes. So absolutely congratulations. Thank this you. was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. It most definitely was amazing. <laughs> you did amazing. Yes, that amazing is the word of the night. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we are back with our final winner, not the least, but in the Ms. category. This is for Ms. Juneteenth, and this was the first time in history happening in Miami. Yes. Yes, how do you feel about that? I believe me winning this crown is an inspiration to young girls and women, and so I'm very excited to be able to be in the community with the crown. Yes, and it's incredible because pageantry is always misled, right? Mm -hmm. And it's always perceived differently. However, you are a career-oriented woman, yes. as I recall from earlier. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. I think it's all about understanding who you are. I fully understand my purpose and I walk in that boldly. I was watching earlier. Yes. And you shone just like a um, bright star. <laughs> Thank you. That smile of yours is incredible. Okay. So I know you won a couple of awards. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about those? So I won best interview. And I'm excited about that. I've interviewed a lot in my life. I've actually interned in the White House and Capitol Hill. I've had a lot of different internships. So I feel as if I, like all of my experiences have led me to such a pageant to be able to eloquently 
interview and be able to win an award for that. Stunning, and I am so happy to see a strong, independent, career-oriented woman who is making a difference in the world. Thank you, thank you. I have the honor of being here with the director of Miss Juneteenth pageant, Constance Robinson. Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm great now, this is over. <laughs> yes, it was incredible. This is the first time happening in South Florida. Yes, so yes. So tell us a little bit about the Juneteenth and how, how you came up with everything here. Well, I understood that Juneteenth was made a holiday just last year, mm -hmm. was signed in as a holiday. And so we had our first festival in Miami Gardens. And then I, I thought about it and I said, you know what, we need to do something big in South Florida. So I researched it and found out that there is a Miss Juneteenth Foundation. There's a, a foundation for Juneteenth Day. Oh, wow. And there is a national pageant. It's about four years old. And I said, I, I need to do this. I need to let people know that it's just not another day off. Okay, Absolutely. it's a celebration. It's a commemorative of our history. And that was the first Miss Juneteenth pageant in South Florida at the historic Hampton House. My name is Sasmita. This is Reggae Entertainment Lifestyle. Keep it real.